Hi, Stella from Edwin University. I have today Nikki with me from Plate Head Games. How are you? I'm great. How are you all doing? Good, good, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, glad to be here to show off this game. I cannot wait to talk about Abomination. Yes. Please let us know what is it about. It takes place 20 years after the novel Frankenstein, yep. where Captain Walton has learned that Frankenstein's monster is alive and well in Paris and he has somehow gained a fortune and started this contest to have yeah. scientists yeah. try to build him a companion because yeah. he's lonely he's yeah. a friend <laughs> and so you are a scientist it's a worker placement game yeah. where you're collecting materials body parts to create in your lab yeah body pieces and to bring them to life. I really like the concept of it. Like, yes. I watch Frankenstein and, you know, piecing body pieces together. It's it's different as well. Yes. Yes, I love the theme of this. Um, and the designer, Dan Blanche, is a yeah. big Frankenstein fan. Ah. There is no Igor in this game because oh. that was only in the movies, not in the novel. Right. Get so. that right. Clarify. Yeah. yeah. Not in here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, do you want me to show you yes, please. how to play? Yes, play, yeah. Okay. So the goal, obviously, is to collect as much body parts? Yes. The goal is to get the most victory points. Victory points, Which yeah. you track around the board. board yeah. um, so the game can either last up to 12 rounds, yeah. or whenever somebody completes their body, yeah. or their, their creature, and brings it to life. So it can also go shorter than that because yep. Captain Walton is on the lookout for okay. all of you and he wants to find the creature. Yep. And we're going to have event cards that will move him down the track. Because yep. normally it'd be like a round pass, but if he yep. some events can occur that makes him go faster. So if right. he ever catches up to the creature, yep. the game ends. Oh, okay. That's um, cool. And if you have built your body and you've brought it to life, it doesn't necessarily mean that you've won, like you've ended the game, yep. but somebody can still gain the most victory points. Right. Uh, so, the main thing is you're going to collect the body parts. Yep. Body parts come in four stages. Yep. One, two, three, four. Yep. And the fresher they are, the more victory points they are worth when you create the body. <laughs> of course. It's like they rot, yeah. they're not as good. Not, nah, yeah, it's just all ones. It's fresh body parts is better. Yes, yep. exactly. And you can also use uh, animal parts, oh. but you have to subtract points from your victory oh. points if you do use the okay. animal parts. Because yep. it's like you contaminate it the whole bunch. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Yep. Um, so, let me show you these event cards. Because the event stage always happens first, yep. and it's going to determine what is available on the board. And then I'll go through and I'll show you the places that you can put your meeples yep. uh, on the board. And you always start out with one scientist yep. and two assistants. Okay. Okay, so when you non ego assistance. <laughs> no, <laughs> they're not. Uh, so the event cards, uh, yeah. they're double sided. You yeah. can use them in uh, rounds. It tells you what rounds, one to five, and then right. six to 12. Yep. Uh, so I'll show you some that have symbols. So there's a public square spot you can go to, which yep. is going to have the freshest bodies, mm -hmm. but executions don't happen all the time. Oh. So if you draw a card with this symbol, that means that there has been an execution and you're yep. going to put two uh, corpses out there that you can harvest. Yep. Uh, and then this one means that your Leyden jars have yep. been uh, charged. Yep. And so you'll be able to try to bring the body to life when yep. you're in the lab phase. And actually, I'm starting us off as if we've already played a round or two, yep. so I can show you everything that you'll be able to do in the lab phase. So, yep. And I actually need, those are Leyden jars right there. Can you grab me two of those? These ones? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. so. And let's put those you uncharged. Go. They go right here on your board. You can have up to four. Okay. Well, this is up. Uh. On you? On you, sorry. Okay. Yep, right there. Sure. So uh, this is them uncharged, and whenever whenever this happens, yep. it would the event happens, you would charge them. Yeah. So well, you don't normally pick these, but I'm gonna let you pick it. Would you rather get bodies from the square this round, or do you wanna do charge? You wanna charge, okay. So I'll put oh, this, actually, let's pick up the body parts here. <laughs> okay. Let's do that. So normally yeah. you just draw it. Yeah. I'm just showing over a demo. <laughs> so all of these uh, event cards have yep. story text like this. Do you want me to read those? 
or sure. you would, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it says the late dame has allotted a sizable portion of her fortune to scientific study. Yep. Researchers, notable or notorious, vie for some pieces of this inheritance. Yep. So not only was there an execution, but it says when researching or lecturing at the academy, yep. which is right here, yep. you can research or lecture. Uh, you are going to gain the normal benefits that you get plus two uh, coins. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to put this here so we know that an event happened here yeah. and I'm going to place it here so we know that we get something extra. Yeah, okay. Um, sometimes it blocks locations so you're not able to go there. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead events. Yeah. here. So these are the corpses we can choose from. So now I'll show you where you can go for the city phase. Um, you are always going to pay whatever cost it shows here. Yeah. Some places don't have costs, but if you see the symbol below where the meeples go, you're yeah. going to have to pay that. Yeah. So the public square, you can pay a coin and you can get one of these bodies. Yeah. You can see that they are fresh. Yeah. So they would be level one and you get all of these. Yeah. That's what this block symbol means. Yeah. Or you can choose the other side of the white line mm -hmm. and gain two expertise. Okay. So it's... Which one do you want to... Yeah, whichever one you yeah. want to do. Um, Expertise is important because if you, when you go to build a body part in the lab phase, yep. you can see that you need a minimum of expertise in order to do it. It's yep. like if you um, haven't yep. researched enough, you're not smart enough to bring, yep. to create this body part. Can I have a look? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's one of those like which one you go first as well. You have mm -hmm. to balance up a few things to yes. make it happen. Yep, yep. and you would yep. need these materials as well. Yes. And I'll go okay. more into detail yep. in the lab phase there. Um, you can go to the hospital. Yep. Here, if you, this d is determined by your reputation, which is one of the attributes in your lab as well yes. as expertise. Yep. Uh, reputation is, you basically have to have start at seven reputation here in yep. order to get one of these cards. Okay. And if you have 15, you get, yeah. you get one. And if you're at 15 plus, you can pay a, a, a coin yep. to get two cards. Yeah. Um, you can also work at the hospital, which do, um, based on your expertise is how much money you get. Yeah. Uh, you can volunteer, which gives you humanity and reputation. So humanity is important because it can give you, here I'll show you, yep. uh, it can give you victory points. I always say they look like the poker chips here. Yep. Um, they can give you reputation and they go up and up. But if you go, you can also lose humanity because if yep. you're doing terrible things, you're going to lose it. And that's important because once you reach negative seven, yep. you are blocked. You cannot gain anymore. You oh. cannot lose anymore. Yep. And at the end of the game, you lose 20 victory points. That's not good. No, it's yeah. not. And you will also start losing assistance. Like, yeah. like, what are we doing working with this scientist? Yeah. They're crazy. Yeah. Uh, and reputation is important because you can gain more assistance. Yeah. And you can gain victory points. And you can turn those assistants even into scientists. Okay. Very good. Because... Did I say it? You can see here, scientists can go here, they're the dark ones, and then the assistants are the lighter ones. Uh, right, yeah. And so like work and volunteer okay. here, you can only do scientists. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's always good to have, it's my, more powerful. Like, yeah, I, would, a scientist I wouldn't put a scientist where yeah. both could go, I'd hold hold on to him. Yeah, okay. Um, you can go to the morgue. Morgue sometimes has fresh cadavers, sometimes yeah. not so fresh. It's kind of a gamble, but you pay a coin and you get to draw two of them. Yeah. And you can either keep both of them or just do one. Yeah. Which, that's, you may choose not to do it because you can lose humanity. If there's a symbol up here, that's the cost. Yeah. Cost. <laughs> and then it's the same thing. You choose whether you want to take this side, which is yeah. more expertise, or the blocks down here. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Amazing. And there's, um, I can see that there's this body part as well. Yes, oh, yeah. Sorry. There are two sides. There's muscle only. That's yeah. with starting a monster part. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. And then you can't bring that to life. Yeah. So you have to complete it, and you would flip it over once you complete it, and then you can try to bring oh, that part right. to life. Yeah, so you're basically it. building it twice, yeah. and then trying to shock it alive. Oh. So that's where the, um, the other uh, comes, or oh, this functionality comes yes. to shock it to life. Yeah, because okay. they have to be charged in order to do that. Right. Um, you can go to the slaughterhouse yeah. here. Um, the slaughterhouse is animal material. Oh, you can either yes. get four level twos or yeah. three level ones. But it's like I said, they will cost you negative points yeah. if you use them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. First player is um, you can't be bumped and you'll be first player the next round. Okay, yep. You can bump in this game. So yep. if you're somewhere that I want, I can bump you off and give, but I have to give you a coin. Okay, yeah. And it depends on how many players you have. Two players, only one person can be bumped during yep. uh, the city phase. 
and three it's two, four it's three. Oh, that's and cool. the money so goes up. Escalates or yeah. scale a little bit different in depending on different number of players. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I said the morgue, so we're at the academy. The scientist can do advanced research, which means he gains expertise, plus he gets one of these cards. Yep. These cards give you basically a little task you can do, and then once you do it, you get um, the bonus for it, or you can hold on to them and you can try to re-roll dice, because that's how you're going to bring your uh, creature to life, is by rolling dice, yep. and if you drew a bad dice, you can just re-roll. Oh, that's good, yeah. Or this one says to ignore any humanity loss. Okay. So yeah. just little things and or. Just, yeah. uh, and then the assistant can also go there, but he's only going to get one reputation instead of the two. Yeah. Here. As good as oh yeah, because this again. Yeah. Yeah, that gains you a coin and yeah. two reputation. Yeah. yeah, the assistant's always a little lower. Yeah. You can also donate. So you can donate money in order to increase your reputation. Okay. Oh, uh, what else do we have? And we've got... Uh, we can hire. hire. Yes, you can hire some yep. scoundrels down at the docks. <laughs> they all have different costs and then different materials you yep. can get. And of course, you get to choose between here. Yep. Like the dog catcher here, you pay the dog catcher. You can choose to... I would say it's like dissecting the dog but not using the parts here. You gain yep. an expertise but you lose a humanity. Yeah. You can choose to like set the dog go away, you know, yeah. Yeah. and save them. And you gain three Free humanities. Humanity. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Or you can take the blocks. Yeah. <laughs> so just different scoundrels there you can yeah. hire. Yeah. Um, then we have the market where you can always sell bones. Yeah. Uh, two bones gain you a coin. You're going to be able to preserve material because they do uh, rot. Yeah. And they'll go away eventually. But yeah. you can preserve them and then you can sell them at the market. Yeah. Uh, you can pay two to get uh, laden jars yeah. or one to get an ice block. Ice blocks are cool because normally in the lab phase, let's say I didn't build a creature here, yeah. at the end of the lab phase, these would go down. Yeah. But if you have an ice block, which is somewhere... Is it one of these tiles? Oh, here. Yes, if you have an oh, ice block, yeah. they would start this way and you, when you were supposed to move them down, you wouldn't, you would just flip this. Okay. And then the next round you would take it's it away. Ahead. Right, yeah. Two uses. Yep. Very good. Yes, ice is very good. Yeah. You could atone for your sins yeah. by going to the church. And it's kind of like the research cards here where it tells you something you have to do before you get the um, reward at the bottom. Yeah. And it's basically usually gaining humanity. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you yes. would imagine, yeah. Or forget about that, your scientists can go down here and murder. <laughs> And that's very fresh material as well. <laughs> they can murder, but it costs you three yeah. humanity. Okay. And once you do go down the dark alley, yeah. you get a police token. Yeah. You can only have um, two police tokens yeah. on your character card, Before and then you, you cannot captured. go to the dark alley anymore. Oh, okay, yeah. It's like, they know your name. They know you did it. They're just trying to catch you. <laughs> yes. So you've got to stay away. But yeah. at any time, you can pay three um, francs to the cops, and they just, they like forget oh, your name, so you can okay. wipe it yeah. clean. Yeah. Uh, Braving's pretty good. <laughs> uh, you can also go to places on your board. Yeah. There are four spots here that you can go during the city phase. You can yeah. use your scientists to practice yeah. and get more expertise. Yeah. They can give assistant or scientists give blood. Yeah. Uh, and then you can repair damage because it is hard to bring body parts to life. Yeah. You have to roll dice and sometimes you roll lightning bolts and that puts damage on your parts. So he will repair those. Okay. So damage works like let me show you these. If you roll a dice yep. and it goes to one of these, yep. you would have to put damage on. You can spread them out any way you want to. If I had two damage, I could go here and here. Yep. If at any time I roll a dice and I'm supposed to put two damage, you can't do that. So they have revert back to their former um, state. Yep. So this one was skin, it would go back to muscle. Okay. And if you got two more again, it would go away. Go away, okay. Yep. All right. You can have a, it's always good to, if this is flipped, so, you know, and then it doesn't go away until. Yeah, and then it is good that back. you can spread it out. You don't have to like immediately put them That's on the right. same yeah. one. That's yeah. And then before we start that, let me tell you about the bonus objectives. Yep. Um, there are more than four that come with the game, so you can switch them out. Every game will be different. Yep. And it just gives things like the first to 23 on reputation dial. All of them are worth 10 victory points. Oh, so you'll yep. just gather those throughout the yep. game. That's great. So that's random and there are more, more than four yes, in yeah. the game? Okay, mm -hmm. so that yep. means that there's a lot of probability yes. and like which strategy, what you're going to do first. 
you got that and you got the events cards and I assume mm -hmm. you don't use all of them? No, no, you yeah. won't use all of them. So, okay. you know, yeah. definitely a lot of replayability. Yeah. And you're going to have events where you will get um, encounters. Yeah. You come encounters with the captain or with the creature. Like, the creature comes to your lab, sees yeah. it. Maybe you're not as far along as he would like. He gets mad and so you yeah. lose some stuff. Yeah. Or you can choose to help the captain and he'll go faster. I can. And, and every scientist has a story on the back of them. Yeah. And some of them you can read and they don't want to be here. They're kind of being forced to be here. And others are like, yes, I want to create a monster. So I guess that kind of like if you want to try different strategy, you can sort of try to see the backstory of the scientist and then go. Yeah, I like to to role play even in board games so I love this so like, yeah, 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 there's, a, yeah. there's a pediatrician on here that's being forced to be in this contest she doesn't want to so yeah. I try to be like I'm just going to work on my humanity yes, yeah. <laughs> I don't really want to yeah. be here that's, but that's they all good. have um, special abilities like I have Anita and she at the start of each round like she has comes from money yeah. so she will gain one franc if I have franc, franc if I have two or less yeah and then uh, research cards that earn me expertise will earn me an ex extra expertise, like these when I play them. Okay, so it kind of like it sort of dictates your strategy as well. Yes, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. some people want to be blocked yeah. or uh, knocked, bumped is the word I'm looking for, bumped yeah. off locations to get certain things. Okay. So yeah, you, it definitely determines how you play. And how many of the type of scientists? There are six scientists to choose okay. from. So I just want to know if I can, when can I get this game? Uh, it When's comes out uh, yeah. Gen Con, so Gen early yeah. August, yeah. If you don't go to or uh, to Gen Con, mm -hmm. can you get it elsewhere? Yes, you can pre-order it at, on our website through yeah. our web store at platthatgames.com. Yeah. Put the link in the descriptions yeah. below as well. <laughs> and if you live in the 48 yeah. contiguous yeah. U.S. states, yeah. you um, get free shipping for pre-orders. Oh, excellent. Yes. Yeah. So. Well, I cannot wait until it comes out. I um, kind of wait to play this as well. And thank you so much for sparing your time and talking about animation. Thank you for letting me show it off. <laughs> uh, it's a, I love this game. It's a great theme. I can tell. I hope yeah. everyone enjoys it. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.